Hello, welcome to Burhanu Guitars, you Um, today is... Back brace glue up. So I've already taped off either side of the, uh, of the back brace. This is the second back brace, so there's another one just here. And then the neck is here. Um, this is a Martin D35, so you can see that uh, that is clearly loose. So, the procedure is to do what I've done here, just to, um, I like to be really generous with the glue um, and uh, and just blob it in and then clean it up and the the last part of that the clean up part is made far more easy because of the tape so definitely tape off um, I've already cleaned out um, the glue that was already in there. Um, I did that with, I stuck some 240 grit sandpaper onto here, or 180 as well, and then just got this in there and did that, and then I put some on the back as well. Um, shouldn't be too much in there anyway. Pretty easy to clean up. Um, so, what we need are two clamps. We need to glue up about, what's that in American? Four inches, something like that. So, two is fine. Um, and we need a thin little palette knife, a paintbrush, and some wax paper, which I just blob a whole lot of glue on. So things I'm going to be doing a little bit off camera is uh, trying to pump the back a little bit, just with my fingers. By pump the back I mean push it in and out so the glue gets in there. So I'm pushing the back with the paintbrush and you can Sorry, there's too much glare. Can't really see this. But. The glue is. Can you see that a bit? By Pumping the back a little bit like this, it works the glue to the other side of the brace, <coughs> or helps do that anyway. 
Um, the other thing you can do, and the other thing I always do, is physically push the glue to the other side of the brace so you know it's glued all the way and you can also leave that in there which creates a gap of however thick the spatula is and push the glue through like that so when we put a mirror back here see this area just here that's the other side so that's the other side of the brace that you're looking at there and there's plenty of glue squeeze out um, and it's a little bit to go at the uh, tip which um, doesn't surprise me. And I'm using tie bond here because you can see how long this kind of takes using real hard glue it would uh, I wouldn't have enough time um, and so that has gone all the way down and just for just to make sure Gonna squish this in the back. Okay. So I'm gonna do a general cleanup first before I add the um, clamps. is just slightly damp paper towel. So it's getting to the point where I have to put the clamps on. Even though it's type on, it does have a quick, um, well, it doesn't have an infinite time to work.
So I just have I have that on the X brace. And I can't um, extend that clamp out too far because you'll just you know break the back. But I have another thing for that. If you just have a so I'm coming with a paintbrush and some water just for the final kind of clean up. I'm going to add too much water, but um, yeah, just enough to clean up. So I have a cam clamp here. I'm just going to very lightly put this. <coughs> Just, just delicately do that, and then obviously more glue squeeze out, which is a really excellent sign. If I was doing all this and wasn't getting glue squeeze out, I'd be concerned for any. I just realized I didn't have my mic on. squeeze out on the other side. care of now. It's a little bit on the linings back there. You can just see it's just sort of smudgy but um, that's fine. I'll put some sandpaper on that. I might try and add this second brace but But um, I think you get the idea of uh, 
of how to do this. Once I put this in, this second one is probably going to fall out and it's uh, a little bit frustrating, but um, I do like to get a couple on here. But I won't, I'll just turn this off now, save me swearing. Um, I hope uh, that was of interest to people. And uh, only two more back braces to go. We've got to do that one and the most sucky one right right at the back. I hate doing that one. <laughs> anyway, bye. So there are the two clamps right here. You can see that um, this side is nice and clean glue squeeze out, well there's no glue squeeze out and it's the same on the side of the brace you can't see. Um, I forgot to mention something, something I wanted to point out. This guitar previously had a repair by someone else on the same brace but the other end of it and you can see how crap that looks leaving all that shit. It's just, um, I don't know what sort of glue it is but the same person left all that glue on that cracked um, X brace. So I don't know what glue it is. It's, it's not hard glue and it's not tight bond. Um, but anyway, um, that is. A, I mean it's probably perfectly, I would say it's perfectly fine in regard to being glued up and all that, and stable, but it's just ugly, just leaving all that glue squeeze out. So if you're going to do a job, try and do it pretty neat. There you go, thank you. Dun dun dun! So. This is what I've done to this guitar. I've glued up that back brace. Those two back braces there. Um, I dealt with the little hairline crack there. I glued up this top crack here and put a cleat in it. Uh, this had a little, this kind of part here was coming away so I glued that up and put a weird banana shaped cleat in it there. Um, glued up some uh, fingerboard cracks here which I haven't cleaned up yet. Um, this is bare wood, so I just put some shellac on there. Um, this portion of the binding was coming away, so I glued that in the other day. I still haven't um, color matched it or uh, finished that yet. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Um, that finger brace was like three quarters undone, so I glued that. Oh yeah, the the X brace from that back tone bar to the front of the uh, bridge plate was coming undone, so I glued that up. Um, I put. What else did I do? I think that's it. So I had to do all that before I could do what the thing came in for, which is to remove and re glue this bridge, which is coming undone. So I can show you that. So 
so that's got um, got some issues there. So that should come off really easy. But before I touch any bridgey stuff, I uh, I deal with anything to do with the top. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's a pretty nice Martin, 1972 or three. Um, well, the other thing that was wrong with it. So this is a Martin D35. This is the Ibex fret ruler measuring long scale. As you can see, all the frets line up. The 12th fret line is in the middle of the 12th fret. What I want to show you is where the brake angle is. What? So, um, this, this here should be, or rather, this edge of the saddle should be there. Mm -hmm. So this is a common problem with um, Martins um, in this era. This is 72, 73. So I'm going to have to make a new bridge for this and uh, it'll be a, a oversized bridge with the saddle slot routed in this, the right slot. So this is the brake angle where, uh, for correct intonation. And obviously that just isn't going to work at all. Mm -hmm. 